The mission of these volunteers is to whip up some Olympic atmosphere in Beijing, but they're playing entirely to a domestic audience with few foreign tourists to welcome. Compared to 2008, there aren't many people because of COVID. But we're enthusiastic all the same, even if there are fewer tourists. Beijing this year is a city split in two. The Chinese capital on one side of the fence, the Olympic bubble on the other, each strictly separated. The opening ceremony will take place in the Olympic Stadium, also known as the Bird's Nest. Like all other venues and the Olympic Village, it's behind barricades. There's no possible contact between the two worlds. Even the roads are divided, with this one reserved for Olympic vehicles. This police video warns the public not to intervene in traffic accidents involving vehicles on Olympic roads. No contact with people inside the bubble is permitted. Within the bubble, some 300 cases have been recorded. Every athlete must undergo testing each day. If the test positive, there's a risk of missing out on competition. It all hinges on a positive test. Psychologically, that means extra stress on top of the stress of the competition itself. COVID has deprived the people of Beijing of the Olympic spectacle. Tickets cannot be bought and the authorities advise against travelling outside the city. Winter sports fans console themselves by going ice skating. It would be better if there were bigger crowds to support the athletes. Everyone is happy that China is hosting the Olympics again, despite the inconvenience. We can understand the pandemic restrictions. We can still watch the games on TV. And these games will be on TV only. The city will remain cut off from the bubble until the end of the Paralympics on the 14th of March.